I feel like a lot of people try to make forex trading, day trading too hard. A lot of people will try to talk to you like they're a professor and they try to make some of the easiest concepts so fucking hard to understand. And me personally, I try to make some of the hardest concepts possible be very simple. And what I wanna do in this video was teach you guys how to properly trade a breakout, pullback, continuation. Because there's so many videos on the net right now that I'm seeing. I literally been on YouTube for like an hour trying to find a video that breaks down what I wanted to break down in a simple way. Now I feel like nobody has quite gotten it yet. So I think this may be the first and last video you're ever gonna need to watch in regards to trading break retest type trades so guys let's go ahead and hop on the charts i got some great examples to show you and i have some educational examples to show you as well when it comes down to this specific strategy this is a really simple simple easy strategy all we gotta identify is which direction the market's going in and which direction we're breaking structure in what do i mean by that on this pair right now with what we're drawing we have weak highs that are being broken aka continuation breaks the structures and then we have uh higher lows strong lows now depending on whatever trend you're in whether it's an uptrend or a downtrend once price breaks past the previous higher high and puts in a new high like this all we have to do is wait for a few key things to happen step one is we wait for the breakout in this example this is a continuation breakout step two is we're gonna wait for a correction that retests a deep level off of the previous move. So we have our breakout, we have our retest, and then we have our continuation on the swing. This is a very, very simple way of taking opportunities in the market. Now we can add so many different confluences to this, but all we wanna do is we wanna keep it simple. Same thing in a downtrending market. Price is going down. Once we break the last relative lower low, prime example here, once we break that lower low, we're gonna wait for price to make a retest of an extreme level of the last move down that put in the new lower low. And once we get that reaction, we should see another move down to make a new low if we're in a downtrend or a new high in an uptrend. Now, the way you're gonna take profit on these moves is you're gonna take out 80% of your positions at either the previous high or the previous low depending on where you're trading once price breaks once price breaks previous higher high take profit 80 i'm gonna put 70 to 80 percent and in a downtrend what i want you guys to do is same thing tp 70 slash 80 percent at previous low now this is by far one of the most easiest, easiest ways to trade. It's not always gonna play out in the sense of price coming to the deepest area on the retracement, but if you wanna make this even simpler to understand where these extreme areas are, take a Fibonacci tool from the high to the low and then look at this area from the 61, 78, 78, 6, 88, 6. If this entry lines up with the level of 88.6, it's even, better that's like the best confluence the 88.6 is the best confluence so now that we understand this simple breakout retest continuation strategy based on how order flow works we're going to take that and apply it to a chart so let's look at what happened this week this week we've seen price go down we're kind of in this big downtrend right here and then we saw price hold back in between these levels so we went down hold back so right now these are our previous lows so once we see that now all we do is we wait for a continuation to show our direction these highs we came down and put in these lows from these highs we put in these lows now what we want to wait for is one more confirmation which is speed notice how with speed we went down in this level we went down with a lot of speed. What do I mean by speed? Very simple. From this high to this low, it took six hours, six bars. From this low to where price pulled back to, it took five days, 22 hours. When price moves with speed, and then once the move is completed, if you see that price is slowly correcting, that's the even best confluence you can get because it's a slow buildup 
leading up to a big explosion. So if we simply take our Fib from the high to the low, what we see is we see our extreme zones. Remember guys, we're looking for these extreme zones. Now for us, what was the first step that we saw? We saw that price was in this channel. We had our first thing first, we had our breakout. We had our breakout, perfect. We broke structure, we broke out. Price was doing, price was going up and up and up. And then we boom, we had a breakout with speed. Then the next thing is, is we want a correction, 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 correction into a dream area. We wanted to correct into a extreme area and then we wanted to go lower. So forget about the drawings for a second. So step one, we had our breakout move. Step two, we had a slow correction. Pull back into extreme and then stream 88.6 retracement. And then notice what happens. See how this previous move here was a very fast move and then we were very slow chopping back. And then what happened next? Very fast move and now we've been chopping again. So guys, this is a very, very simple way of understanding a very complex way of looking at the market, but we're just going to call it a breakout, an extreme retest, and a continuation. So go back, test this out on your charts. You know, doesn't matter which which way, whatever price is trading, doesn't have to be bearish, it could be bullish. Euro USD has just been very bearish as of late. Well, that's why we went with that. One. So guys, there we have it. Taught you guys how the breakout strategy works. Instead of taking something very complex and adding order blocks and adding institutional levels and adding all this, that, and the third, we took some of the most complex trading styles within order flow, within extreme levels, and we broke it down into like a two, three, four step system. Waiting for a big breakout with speed, waiting for a slow correction, a pullback, waiting to get in on an extreme entry off the FIB, and then taking that trade in that direction and cashing out. So guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, give us some feedback. We're always down to answer questions. And then honestly, if you guys wanna see any specific videos on any specific topic, leave it down below in the comments. We're gonna read the comments and we're gonna give you guys more of what you want. Y'all take it easy. Join the fucking Discord.